kind of start off with how we met because I don't know if like I don't know if anyone actually knows our like that. Yeah, I guess everybody just assumed that you're from the academy too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the only outsider. <laughs> yeah, but we met at uh, we both work for um, Egal, this yeah. photorealist painter. So we met like four years ago, something like that. Ago. Yeah. And we were always just sort of like talked about the art that we like and you know difficulties we have with the art world in general just sort of like i guess more the elitist aspects of fine art the view towards um graphic arts and illustration and how you know we always thought those lines were a little more blurry than it seems and yeah and um, you know, my background was from uh, my uh, undergrad was in uh, FIT uh, illustration, so I was always involved in that world of like, comic books, illustrations, and all of that. And felt like Marshall was the only one that kind of connected with me on those <laughs> because I would try to talk about that with other people at work, and because they're all from the academy, they weren't quite interested in hearing those things. So, you know, that's sort of how this whole conversation started. And then I th uh, we took it a step further. We, we thought, hey, let's maybe like combine all these different things together and make it work. Yeah. And um, so in the beginning, I think we had some like way more complicated concept of what it should be. Like some yeah. sort of like choose your own adventure thing. Yeah, it was kind of totally of impractical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work. I think we wanted to get uh, each artist to do like a panel of this thing and then like you would go into the show and it would be this interactive story, that narrative that you would, you know, just pick and choose. It would have been really cool but totally, completely Im impractical. So I think uh, Dina was the one that kind of talked us down. She's like, yeah, there's no way you guys can pull that off. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Um, and then uh, we, we even met with that kid, John, um, you know, just kind of um, try to figure out. Uh, at that time, we really didn't know too many uh, comic book artists, so. Yeah, that was always the hardest part. Yeah. Just getting yeah. comic people. Yeah. So, and John, he, he worked with uh, Comixology, so we figured he would, you know, know some people. But um, I think we ended up going with just people that we knew. Yeah, the first show was really small at the yeah, Foundry. At the Art Foundry, yeah. But it went so well, and everybody responded so well to it that we just sort of pitched the idea yeah. to Mark, I guess, yep. directly, and then... Yeah, and then, like, basically, like, for this show, we, we wanted it to be more interactive. Like, we wanted people to come in and be able to leave with some information, like, um, to actually find out what the artist was thinking, Therefore, you know, that's why we put up those uh, questions. I think it's just a richer experience because we've had instances where, you know, you go to a group show and then, like, it, the, because there's so many, sometimes there's too many works in the show and then the work itself gets kind of lost in the, um, in the fray. So we want each thing to, you know, stand out more. Yeah, you don't know who painted what at the end. You right. leave, you forget all the names. But here it's like, you. Time came up with the idea to scan the, the little Q code on there that takes you to the website, and then sort of in the artist's own words, you get to, you know, talk about what the piece was. So it's it's a little more, I guess, a museum experience. Yeah, like a mat or something. Yeah. yeah, that was our inspiration. We wanted it to be more of a museum yeah, experience. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, so what's next? We, we we did have some. I mean, yeah. Um, there's definitely been some hurdles, but I think this this time around it was really cool because we figured out how to uh, get in touch with artists just through like social media. We reached out to people, you know, that I that I found or um, from like podcasts, Instagram, stuff like that. Just and then. That was really cool when they responded. It was, just, it was kind of an amazing experience. Yeah. They were like, whoa, okay, like, <laughs> people, people are and interested. I, so. I had a trip to Los Angeles, like, in the spring, and I just contacted all these people I didn't know and went to their studios, and they were, like, all behind it. You know, they didn't, 
know me either. It was kind of a weird experience, like just picking art for a show. And it's like, I think it's going to happen. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. We got like people, I mean, there's Italy, yeah. LA, sort of all over for this. Yeah. And then when the stuff actually shows up, you're sort of like, I can't believe it. It's going to work. Are <laughs> <laughs> people all over for this thing? <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, for us, that's been like a pretty amazing experience and just connecting with new artists. So I guess the next step would be to um, expand the roster, reach out, have a bigger outreach, time, time up the concept more, you know, have that uh, interactive thing working a little bit smoother. Because this is still, I guess, the uh, first time I've tried this, uh, so I think it worked. Yeah, no, it was awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah the, so, I, I really like the Q codes and the... Yeah, although I don't think I've seen anyone use them yet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe you should have a demo. Yeah, maybe you should have a demo, yeah. As people walk in, just so <laughs> do this. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's like a totally new thing, like, why would you do that, right? But, I don't know, I think it makes sense, but it's definitely not part of the gallery experience. I like how the thing on the show, um, you know, provokes people to, to have a conversation, to tell a story about the piece, not just, this is the piece that I made, you know, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just opening up the dialogue more. Um, oh, absolutely. You, you know, artist and viewer, and artist between artists. It's, Wonderful and refreshing. So yeah. I love the idea when you guys first. I was like, great. That, that sounds fun to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, because I think that's what Ton and I's attitude going into these things really is, just embracing and celebrating things we like, you know. And and when when that comes through, I don't know. I feel like in, in this and the last show, there was a lot of heart in them, you know. Like. Yeah. Just sort of. Um, Definitely. Yeah, just like, this is the coolest art we can get our hands on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so, any more questions? Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you for participating. <laughs>